I remember I watched an uh, interview with Michael Phelps, and um, it was saying that he worked like every day for four or five years. I'm like, there's no way that anybody is working on every day for four or five years straight. I thought they were just saying, like, you know, using a connotation like me, he worked out a lot. And then the guy's like, no, his coach said, no, he worked like every day for four or five years. And the reporter said, well, how about, uh, how about on Christmas? He's like, yeah, on Christmas. He said, how about on his birthday? He's like, Psh, twice on his birthday. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like that's, that's crazy. That is ridiculous. You know, and then I'll ask some of the athletes. I wore my athletes head again. I'm not going to come up here. All right, any athletes over here? How many days do you all work out? Like every other day. Every other day? And is that in preseason or is that, is that in the season? or? during summer at home. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Anybody else? We we'll get we we'll get a female athlete. What do you play? Uh, volleyball. Nice, nice. How often do you work out? Um, well, I mean during preseason, like three times a day. But okay. um, during the summer, I try to like every day. But it usually is every other day. Okay, okay. Now, when I get this to high school kids, because they're very arrogant, you know, um, and I ask them that question, I work out four times a day, Mr. Sean. Five times, or, or not four times a day, four times a week, five times a week. I'm like, okay, that that's cool. I said, but what happens whenever you run into the Michael Phelps of basketball? Hmm. What happens whenever you run into the Michael Phelps of football? Even if you're not an athlete, what happens whenever you run into the Michael Phelps of counseling? You know, what happens whenever you run into the Michael Phelps of, uh, of bio, bio research? Told you, I don't yeah. get that mind, man. <laughs> I can't even say it. All right? All right? But seriously, you know, it doesn't have to be uh, something that, in sports. All right? And one of the things I like to say is that, you know, um, whenever an athlete or an entertainer, whenever they want the best doctor or lawyer, Dennis, they'll fly around the world looking for the best. So even though you might not be a celebrity, you know, if you're the best at what you do, you might find yourself rubbing past with, you know, some people that are celebrities. Uh, letter F. Uh, how about we get my man right here? Knowledge is power, but you must research as well. Right. Knowledge is power, but you must research as well. How many people believe knowledge is power? Okay. How many people don't believe that? Nobody? Okay, I don't believe that. I don't believe knowledge is power. All right, I believe applied knowledge is power. I believe that, that I believe knowledge is strength. You know, you gain the knowledge, but then you gotta use it. Whenever I was uh, boxing, there was me and there was another guy who like we were kind of like two of the best boxers, um, you know, at our gym, and we started at the same time. And whenever we would go to the weight room, I would always be able to lift more than him, right? Whenever we would, we would get in the ring, you know, he would have such a more powerful punch than mine. You know, I had a powerful punch, but I'm like, how is this dude, how, how can he punch harder than me and I lift more than him? So I did what Jim Rohn says, and this is a great note to take. Jim Rohn says that, you know, you turn your frustration to your fascination. Turn your frustration to your fascination. So what I did was I researched it and I found that in boxing, the faster that your punch, you know, gets to the target, the more powerful it, that it can be. And it's kind of the same thing in life, you know, not that you have to rush to get the knowledge, but once you get the knowledge and then you apply it, then you become powerful. Because he and I both had the same information. And I remember one time we were sparring in the ring, and, you know, we both got the same information, but he never knew how powerful I was because I couldn't hit him. I couldn't apply my knowledge, I couldn't apply what I knew. But I knew how powerful he was because, you know, he was applying his punches, he was applying what he knew. Does that make sense? How many people still believe knowledge is powerful? I do it every time, but there's no way to I like it. I appreciate you all for allowing me to share that information with you. It was definitely my uh, privilege to share these moments of your life with you. That's my presentation.